Welcome to this video. In the former video I argued that from a climate standpoint there is nothing really abnormal or rather there is nothing really unique taking place during the younger dryas. This while black mats indeed could be more typical or more common around 12,800 BP or even during the younger dryas. I argue there is nothing really abnormal or really unique because there have been several similar and even more extreme events in the end phase of the Ice Age and at least one so in the Holocene. If we give the over 1,000 years period before Baling Alarad the name Heinrich period, presented in a red rectangle that contains the extreme warming with number 1 in green. This warming in this Heinrich period is roughly 20% more extreme than the much more touted warming in the Younger Dryas period, which is also presented in a red rectangle that now contains the extreme warming with number 3 in red. What is abnormal or a change is the Holocene. That starts after the Younger Dryas, which is roughly over 1,000 years after the supposed meteorite impact, Green Arrow Up, or even starts after the 8,200 BP cold event which is roughly 3,000 years after the supposed meteorite impact, smaller blue arrow up and larger purple arrow up under a smaller temperature dip 8,200 BP with the name cold event. What I mean by abnormal is that something was done from that time on, or in my opinion rather something was not done anymore from that time on, by the older, deep past, global empire for example, for now represented by only the haplogroup Q, this to simplify. In other videos I give arguments for my use of the description global empire and deep past, global empire. Because I am mentioning it in this series related to younger dryas, I will give simplified arguments for it while the real fundamental proofs are given in videos that mention fundamental proof or proofs in their titles. Presented now is the Y-DNA haplogroup Q today, but at that time its extension of all involved haplogroups influenced by the deep past, global empire were more than Q alone, and together they had an even larger extent. There is no other haplogroup that had and still has this extreme extension than haplogroup Q had and still has, and that uniqueness of that is significant. Also this extreme extent of the deep past, global empire is explained in other videos of mine, JM. I do not think anymore that this kind of radical switches in temperature, with alternating warmings and coolings, close to each other, in the Holocene, in a geological scale, are natural. In my opinion they are human-induced instead. Milankovitch cycles do not present such radical switches at all. Nor cycles related to the sun do. JM Turnover Hypothesis I hypothesize and will argue that what took place 12,800 BP is that well-organized newcomers of haplogroup are, send by or coming from that, deep past, global empire turned over North America and next Western Eurasia, coinciding with the Younger Dries boundary but also other parts of the world, this roughly over 1,000 years after certain actions that enforced first a quick extreme warming, one in green, and then an extreme more protracted cooling that is split up in three parts, 2. A, 2B and 2C in blue. The extreme cooling, balling alarod period in dark blue with light blue curves down, went on for roughly over 1,000 years to reach extreme low temperatures around 12,800 BP, the green arrow pointing up. So the extreme cold temperature is not something caused around 12,800 BP, supposed meteorite impact or green arrow up, but caused in the period of over a thousand years before 12,800 BP, during the Baling Alarod period in dark blue with light blue curves down. This extreme cooling is the first part or the leg down, the part down or the first part, of the de facto ice age. Important to note that consensus does not consider this first leg an ice age or part of the formation of an ice age but differently I, JM, do. The main difference of my JM hypothesis with the consensus hypothesis is that consensus does not link the event to humans, differently I do and already at this point, in this video. A, I, JM, spatially associate the event with humans and human activities and with a certain haplogroups, mainly R, but as well as with the Younger Dryas boundary. The Younger Dryas boundary is the only part of my, JM, hypothesis that consensus associates with. I associate mainly with the Y-DNA haplogroup R, possibly also with I and others that preceded, and possibly our ancestors of R, but I see them mostly as a sequence of hybrids coming mainly from North America in a wide hybrid era. Amongst the preceders of R could also be the Magdalenian haplogroups that include Y-DNA HIJK and MTDNA U, that have ancestry from the Aurignacian culture of about 35,000 BP, amongst others from the Goyet Caves in modern Belgium, and B. I, J M, temporally associate with all the other extreme events, like extreme warmings and extreme coolings of the whole period, 
from Heinrich event to the end of the Younger Dryas, or even to the Cold event 8200 BP, and one of these is for me the real start of the Holocene because the global empire had now stopped its most radical and near-global scale interventions. This because this whole period is closely linked and associated with the extinctions of humans, animals and megafauna and the formation of black mats and the formation of sites presenting black mats. By the time the black mats began to be formed, all Clovis-like cultures in North America and Western Eurasia, megafauna etc. had already gone extinct. This because the invaders or the early subgroups of haplogroup R could not start the blast furnace activities which waste and secondary products would form the black mat and which products would be traded. End observation. This video is about the hypotheses of the author, J.M., and not about present time climate change. To learn about present time climate change please consult. What is climate change? United Nations. Thank you for watching. Bye.